Hey guys, and welcome back to another my Pokemon hacking tutorial remix. In this part, I'm going to be doing uh, showing you how to write a yes/no script. If you want to, know, if you want to know how to script, please check the last vid video remake, which tells you how to do basic scripting like hello, etc. So I'm going to not focus so much on that and focus on the new commands we learned. So um, as we set off the script, we'll start off as usual binary org offset. So we call it yes no oops yes no script like that uh, and then we'll do our usual commands lock face player if you want to know what those mean check the last video and then we underscore and now we're gonna make him say a message so message offset one now as I mentioned in the last part part pat it mentioned mentioned in the last part you can either write the whole script in one big block or put these little offset things to different parts of the script so that's what I'm gonna do now so we do the next line box set five five not six this box set will make a yes no box appear as well as the box under the bottom so yeah we'll write the rest of our script well we'll go down two lines now and we'll do the org binary org offset and we'll do the uh, one as you see that down one line offset one one equals uh, we go like hello exclamation mark oops. hello exclamation mark I don't know, do you like Pokemon? Question mark there. And then we leave that blank. So basically, when it reads this here, it's going to go to here, read this, come back and see box set 5, so it's going to make a yes no box. So now back to the first bit of the script, we go down again, and we go compare. That's about compare wrong. Spelling does help. Compare in capitals, last result. Uh, o zero times one. Now basically, this line says, "Okay, I want you to compare the last result that was given, so the yes no, and if it was compare if it was zero times one, okay? So compare if it was yes. So zero times one, zero times one is yes. Zero times zero is no. Okay. We get to the next line, and then we write if b underscore true. Go to offset yes. Okay." So it's basically saying if we said yes, go to this offset down here. So then we go down to the next part of the script and we go down and we go binary org offset yes. Now, because unlike this uh, first offset thing we did here, we didn't write message offset one and then bring it down here. We wrote go to. We have to do this and then we have to write under here message message offset yes uh, we'll call it yes one so it has to be different from that we get another line offset yes one Oops. yes one one equals as usual uh, so if said yes you can say uh, you do brilliant like that uh, and then we go so uh, here we want the script to end if you say yes we want it to end here as you can see, we want it to end. We don't want it to go because if we don't write a release end, it will take us back to the script we're writing right now at the top. And we don't want that to happen. Because after this, we're going to write. So basically, if we don't say yes, it's going to carry on the script on this bit. So we're going to write message uh, offset no, offset no, underscore, or we're at box set six there. I'll fail. Uh, we need to kind of write a box set six here, don't we? Uh, box, oops, set six there. Just remember, <laughs> I nearly failed there, didn't I? Yep. Uh, so yeah, and you want to go up here, message number, uh, message no, box set six, uh, release end. And then under here, oops, fell. release end. Now under the yes bit, we're going to write another binary org offset no. Uh, so then we go message message binary no one actually no, we didn't we don't need to write the message again do we because it said message by uh, offset no not go to offset no so then we write uh, offset no uh, one equals uh, you don't let's say you don't you know, surprised and then we want these come back up here release end so basically we're gonna go into the to person they're gonna look at us look at us they say, hello, do you like Pokemon? Then we are presented with a yes, no box. We choose, for example, if we choose yes, it says, okay, let's go to yes. And he says, you do? Brilliant. 
and then if we don't, it carries on the script down to message no, and it goes you don't, and releases us and ends. Obviously you can do a lot more with this, you can make a move, so if you don't want them to move, you know, if you want them to move when you say yes, you have to do that. Except I'll show you later on, okay? So that's that, so we're gonna um, save, compile and stuff like that. Nothing different here, so I'm not gonna record it. If you want to, want to know how to do it, please check the first scripting video. Alright guys, so I've done all the compiling and stuff, and now I'm in advanced map. And as you look on the right hand side here, it says script offset, and I've entered my offset. And if you click open script, it should say, hello, do you like Pokemon? Yes, no message. Let's see, it explains on the right hand side, equal to, you don't. Yeah, and then, it kind of, you just need to read it, you know. So, compare jump if equals jump, da 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 da. Hello, do you don't, okay. So I won't I try I won't try and explain it but it seems to work, okay? So I'm gonna save that and go on to VBA right now. Okay guys, and I'm here obviously in VBA now. As you can see this is the person who signed the or I assigned the script to. I changed the sprite a bit, I don't know. I had to f I had a few problems again. Um the person I signed it to wouldn't work, so uh I assigned it to someone else it would work, so I don't know. It's a bit right really random this some ROMs like this, you just have to Around, fiddle around with it for a bit, so yeah. Anyway, let's go talk to her. Hello, do you like Pokemon? As you said in the script. Okay, let's say, yeah we do. You do? Brilliant. And the script ends. And she says, if we talk to her again, she says, hello, do you like Pokemon? We say, no, nah, we don't. She says, you don't? Alright guys, thanks for watching the video. Um, Obviously, in the, you can, um, there are many different things you can actually do with this uh, command. You can offer you choices, customization, events can happen. For example, in a future script where uh, apply movement, I'm going to ask this girl, and she says she wants to move, do you want me to move. If you say yes, she goes. If she if you say don't, she doesn't. Obviously. So yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you next time. Goodbye.